Dear students, welcome to your English literature class. And uh, this video is for class seven and eighth book. It is for the writing section. And here I am going to explain you about the notice writing and the later writing. So first of all, let's start notice writing. What is a notice? The student, it is a piece of information when you, that you want to give to the people at the same time. No number of people at the same time. It is of three types. It can be three types. It can be written uh, for inviting for any purpose for any event, or you can write it for when uh, you lost something or you found something. So there are in this way it is of three types. That means uh, when you found something. when you lost something and when you have to invite or inform people about any occasion or any event which is going to take place in future so first of all dear students when you write notice you must uh, remember these points that first name of organization you will write on the top and the very first thing that you have to remember that uh, the notice must be enclosed in a box after uh, putting it in a box that and the, that box should be drawn with a pencil and the name of the organization institution or school you will write at the top below that you will write the word notice in the second line in, in the center after this you will write the date of issuing the notice again after in the next line you will write a suitable caption or title for the purpose what you why you are writing this notice that means in this title you will write the purpose of a title you will write in short next in the content of the notice you will write the purpose of writing the notice in which you will give the details of the schedule if you are writing it for uh, informing to the people about any event or any program any competition so here you will inform them about the date at what time it is going to take place what is the venue and what is the duration of that program and at last you will write the signature and signature and name that means who is the writer of this notice that and below that you will write the designation of the person issuing the notice details of the content here when you are writing the body of the notice these things you have to remember that what is the notice about when you start it what is the notice about who it is addressed to that means you are giving this notice to which people you are giving this notice to like uh, you have to give this notice to class 7 students class 6 to 8 students like that where is the event or program going to be held next when when is the event going to happen date and time what to do the instructions related to the notice that what you want from the listener that what they have to do in short whom whom to contact or get in touch with for further details that is very must and one more important thing you have to remember here that notice should always be written in the third person and in passive voice in the third person and in passive voice you should not use the first person and second person here in the notice a notice is written to give information to people or students in a school about some activity or an upcoming event here it is in uh, this example is given dear students so just take uh, read uh, see this first of all the name of the institution next this here uh, the notice is not written here but uh, you can write the notice here also and here also and then the date is given after that the topic is given here so the school is organizing an excursion to sukali dolpur village on january 20 for class 7th and 8th all the interested students may give their names to their class monitors along with it is 50 each by 18 january you can listen here you can see here that particular notice is given that means in very short words the notice is informed to students the buses will leave at 7 am on january 20 and will be back by 6 pm in the evening and at last you will not forget to write 
for further details contact the undersign undersign is the person who is writing this notice and this is the designation of the person who is writing this notice so you can see here notice name of the institution subject the notice title it should be written in capital letter date of issue signature of the person and name of the designation name and designation of the person so this thing you have to remember here now next thing dear students question for example for practice you are karan kiran sharma of class 8 divan public school gorakhpur you found a wrist watch in the school library write a notice for the school notice board asking its rightful owner to furnish necessary details to claim it back from you now so this is all about the notice writing i hope you all have understood how to write a notice now this is the time for understanding letter writing which is of two types formal letter and informal letter dear students formal letter is written to the official personnel that means official people like you are writing a letter to your principal you are writing a letter to your class teacher or you are writing a letter to the editor of any newspaper or suppose you have to complain about anything you purchased for that that is also formal letter and informal letter is a letter which we write to our with relatives our parents our friends that is personal letter so here is the format of formal letter so you can see first of all we will write here sender's address this is written sender's address next line you will write the date and dear students date how you will write this you all always have to remember that suppose today is 29th july so you will not write like this 29th july 21 no this is wrong way you will write 29th july 21 this is the way that you will write the date so i hope you will remember this the format of writing this date now second thing is that after the date you will write the receiver's address after the date what you will write receiver's address that means to whom you are writing the address and you have to remember that the sender's address also you will write in two lines you will finish in two lines and receiver's address also you will finish in one or two lines after that you will write the subject of the letter for what purpose you are writing this letter in one line the topic of your subject next you will write the salutation sir or ma'am now comes the body of the letter so this is the body of the formal letter which you will complete in three paragraphs first paragraph is introductory paragraph in which you will tell about your problem about your topic you will introduce your topic second is that main body of the letter that means suggestion what suggestion you want to give that give to the receiver of the letter and the third paragraph is concluding paragraph that how at the end what request you want to tell, give do or what you want from the person that at last you will write it one time and the last but not the least you will write here the closer of the lesson that is yours truly and here you have to you don't have to forget that it will be always written yours not your when you are putting here ly or sincerely truly affectionately then here it should be yours this also should be remembered now after this you will write your name that means the who is writing the letter and then signature so this is how that you will complete this uh, letter this is the format of this letter writing so dear students this i hope you have understood now the next i am giving you one example a question that to municipal commissioner about the problem of stray dogs you have to write a letter you are anuj or anju grover living at 146 rohtas nagar delhi 91 your colony is facing the problem of stray dogs even the movements of its residents have become risky especially in the evenings stating the difficulties 
write a letter in about 100 words to the municipal authorities of your city to tackle the problem in an effective manner so dear students from here starts our letter uh, this first the address of the person to whom you are writing this letter next this is the date after that sorry the this is the address of the writer that means you are writing this letter so your address should be here after that you will write the date then you will write the letter to whom you are writing this letter the address the person's name to whom you are writing then the address and then you will give the salutation that is sir now next after sir till here you have seen here please allow me to draw your attention to the nuisance created by the stray dogs in this colony so this is the introductory paragraph that means you are uh, what do you want what do you want to attract how do you want to attract the right uh, receiver that means what do you want to let them know so this you will write in one line that is please allow me to draw your attention to the nuisance created by the stray dogs okay now second paragraph you will write the dogs have or of the problem that means what suggestion you want to give and what problem they are causing the dogs have always been there but they were not never before as dangerous as they are today these days the residents fear to pass through the colony the threat of being bitten by a dog is very strong new pups are very large in number a stranger is likely to put his foot on one of them many of the dogs suffer from skin diseases when these dogs die their bodies keep lying in the street during evenings the residents can't move freely they fear stepping over them now this was the middle part that means suggestion and cause the reason of the purpose now next is the kind what suggestion you want what what is the solution of your problem kindly take the necessary steps to help the residents of this colony and then the closer of this lesson slowly sorry yours sincerely yours sincerely and afterwards you will write here your name so this is all about the formal letter now one question for example you are ramesh rama rama of number 4 civil lines gorakhpur uttar pradesh write a letter to the editor of the times of india uttar pradesh expressing your concern about increase in the rate of road accidents rash driving and overcrowded road transport so this is the question that you will practice now the students most of the time you all have to write application when you want to take leave so for that i uh, one application format is here the principal sunshine international school delhi 15 january subject application for grant of leave so here you will write dear ma'am dear sir i would like to request you to grant me leave for 3 days 23 to 25th january as i have to go out of station to attend my sister's wedding i will attend school from 27 january after that again you can see yours sincerely then the name and your class and your roll number so now comes the informal letter that is the letter which we write to our friends and relatives so this is informal together it will be a uh, writer's address first that means your address you are writing the letter your address should be there then date you will write and just after that you will start the salutation here you will not write to whom you are writing the letter then salutation dear ankit if you are writing your a letter to your brother to your friend then father mother sister brother aunt or uncle then comes the body of the letter this part contains all the information that you want to share by writing this letter suppose you are you want to write a letter to your father telling him about your studies and you are living in a hostel so the body of this letter will be here in this that how are your studies going on what do you want to tell to your parent like that at last the closer of this letter for uh, for this informal letter you will write the closer like this yours lovingly yours affectionately yours friendly like that now name and signature just your name is enough here 
and just you forget that this is not uh, this will be informal together it will be by mistake uh, maybe it is left here so this you will correct it now format of informal letter just now i have explained you first you will write the address of the writer then date after that salutation then whole body of this letter that you want, what do you want to discuss what do you want to tell to your friend and after that yours affectionately yours lovingly and then your name so here you can see i would like to share with you a pleasant experience you know my cousin shankar is in mumbai he had invited me to stay with him for a week i accepted his invitation because i wanted to see mumbai so i went to mumbai on 14th october soon after reaching there i heard about a conference it was a conference on how to combat terrorism with the permission of the chair i was also allowed to speak there you can imagine my happiness when i got the appreciation of the crowd all of them appreciated my point of view i will give you my details i will give you the details of my speech when we meet with love yours affectionately ravina so this is this is here the two friends uh, conversation that what they want to share with each other so this is also a personal here you can be very informal now question for example write a letter to your younger brother telling him about the importance of value of time so this is all about your students letter writing and notice writing in the next video i will share with you the format of diary entry so i hope you have understood and you will learn something and you will practice the questions also thank you students for watching and listening this video